The National Museum of American History is getting ready to open its newest exhibit in the renovated West Wing. The multi-million dollar project is a work in progress. Our Caroline Tucker got a sneak peek inside and tells us when you can take a look. We have the nation's greatest collection of American history. Director John Gray is wearing a different kind of hat at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. Today, the expectation of our visitors is that the objects aren't enough. They, get, they want to be engaged with that and have an experience. He showed off the museum's new three-floor West Wing, which is still a construction zone. The foundation is being built for a vibrant American experience. Throughout the three floors are common themes, democracy, self-determination, creation of an identity. The $158 million renovation project is expected to bring American history alive to visitors with performance spaces, an education center, and exhibition galleries, including the first ever exhibit on American business, a place where you can not only witness history, but feel it. They're all authentic, uh, but they're not part of the national collections, which means that they can be, they can be handled. Everything from an alarm clock to the first cell phone. The ads for this phone proudly proclaim that it only weighs four pounds, two ounces. Then there's that panoramic view. The larger idea is that the museum becomes transparent because there's light flowing through it and you can connect to the outside. The new wing here at the National Museum of American History is on schedule and the first floor is expected to open to the public on Independence Day next year. It's America's greatest holiday, and this is America's greatest American history museum. The second and third floors will open in 2016 and 2017. In Northwest Washington, Caroline Tucker, News Channel 8. There are a number of projects and changes at the various Smithsonian museums and locations around town. Recently, the National Fossil Hall at the Museum of Natural History was closed for renovation. A brand new dinosaur hall will open to the public in 2019. And at the National Zoo, the invertebrate exhibit also closed this summer, but that won't reopen due to funding issues. If you're interested in seeing those critters, the Smithsonian Group recommends checking out exhibits at the Natural History Museum.